Okay, at this point with your slab bowl, your four cut slab bowl that you did from this template, what you're going to do next is it is leather, getting to be a little bit leather hard, so we're ready to take it out of the bowl. So you want to be careful when you do this, you just kind of squish the bowl a little bit and you kind of have to flip the bowl over. Um, if you're struggling for it to come out, you can get a banding wheel. Make sure you pick the banding wheel up from the bottom and then you just kind of want to set one piece off to the side and just pick your bowl up and tap it until it comes out. You might notice that there is a sheen on the bowl. That's just the oil, okay, um, from whatever you <coughs> um, sprayed it with the olive oil here to get it to release, or the whatever it is, mazola oil, some kind of oily spray. All right, so you can see here um, that you have some marks from where it was cut at. So what you want to do is carefully take your rib and just kind of smooth those together as best as you can so they don't become a weak point in the bowl and there should only be four and after you smooth them you can take and your sponge and smooth it out okay all four of them now you have to be careful if your clay is a little bit past leather hard because um, if it's past leather hard there is a pretty good chance it'll be easier to break. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is put a foot on there. So a foot, what it does for your bowl, it just helps it to give it a little bit of extra Support if your bowl is not completely even it keeps it from weebling and wobbling okay. um, You could also carve a design on the outside of the bowl if you wanted to but to do your foot What you're going to do is you're going to take a little bit of clay Okay From your wedge chunk and you're going to roll a coil So you roll it back and forth in your hands then you take it to the table you want to keep your pressure nice and even and we're going from the palm or the fingertips to the palms on our hand and you go from one side to the other now it doesn't have to be a coil for your foot you could also um, do balls for the feet there's lots of different things that you could do for the foot on a bowl but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you can kind of see where it should go and I'm going to take my clay tool and make my, sure my coil is going to fit around there first See where I need to score and slip at. So I'm going to take this, kind of fit it to the bottom. I'm going to cut it. And then when I go to put this together, I'm going to want to score it and slip it together. So scoring is whenever you scratch to attach. And then you add some slip. Slip is just watered down clay, it's like glue for clay. And you kind of put this together. So I have a ring. And then I'm going to fit this ring to the bottom of the bowl. Now, what I'm going to do is on the inside, I'm going to trace around lightly where that foot's going to go. And then I'm going to score the bottom of my bowl, being careful that I don't score into the bowl and put a hole in it. And I'm going to score my ring. If you don't score and slip well, there's a pretty good chance that these are going to come apart. And then you want to very carefully just kind of pat the ring down. You want to support the inside when you go to do this, and then you can smooth the bottom part, being careful that you don't go in through the bowl.
Okay. And at this point, you want to flip it over. Check to see that your bowl is kind of level. You might have to pound it a little bit like this. You can shape it up some with the clay tool. Get that extra slip out of there. And then the next step is going to be smoothing out the top part here of the bowl. Take your sponge. You're going to hold it like this and kind of cup it around the rim. And you want to get that rim nice and smooth. Okay, at this point, this is done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, pick this up, put my name on the bottom. You can use a clay tool or a pencil and your class ID so that we can read it and then you'll set it over on the counter um, so it can be fired. 